get to know Pablo Picasso, the man, through the streets that he knew and would certainly recognise today in Malaga, Spain. This is where Pablo Picasso was born. One of Pablo Picasso's first memories, he said, was the light, the light of Malaga streaming through his windows here at his house on the Plaza de la Merced, a stone's throw from the Mediterranean. And I'm going to show you the streets, squares and historic buildings Picasso knew as a boy growing up. The streets where he played and the streets where he was shaped. And it really will give you an idea of who the man became. Picasso was modelled by these streets. The sights, the sounds, the colours, certainly, of the buildings, the smells of the sea, and, of course, the light of Malaga. Picasso was born here, in this building, on October the 25th, 1881, and he always wanted to be an artist. And when you look at his work today, it's hard to imagine that it was created up to 120 years ago. It just feels so modern and contemporary. And that's exactly what Picasso wanted to create. He once said that to him, there is no past or future in art. If a work of art cannot live always in the present, it must not be considered art at all. Now think about that for a moment. Amongst many things, Pablo Picasso certainly achieved this. His work just looks fresh and modern in the 21st century. Picasso's father was also an artist, in fact, a drawing teacher. And so the young Pablo began drawing at the same time as he began speaking. And as we know, he spoke through his art throughout his whole life. All of his work sends messages and the figure of the bull is really dominant in many of his pieces. He loved the bull, and the bull is very much a symbol of his childhood here in Malaga. The large bull ring, which was a major feature, still is, in the town, can still be seen today. It's only a short walk away from where he was born. The power, grace and bravery of the bull affected Picasso greatly as a boy, and he was described by many who knew him as having the character of a bullfighter. And ironically, the exact opposite to a bull, the polar opposite to the bull, is the pigeon or the dove. And this is a creature that really did inspire Picasso through his life. Picasso's father kept pigeons, and this became a fundamental theme in his work and his life. The drawing, the depicting of pigeons, of doves. He used the dove as a symbol of peace, of course, and Picasso was engaged actively with the pacifist movement throughout his life. And yes, Pablo Picasso artworks are the most stolen in the world.